recently got some new video games and uh, on the main drive here. It's a one terabyte drive, but it was starting to get full. I had to delete a bunch of stuff. And when you look at what games take up these days, here's that, uh, that hard drive and what's in here are all just the Steam games. And I had to delete a bunch to make room for these things like uh, that's Baldur's Gate and that's Starfield. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this two terabyte SSD and I'm gonna use a cloning software to do that. This is the inside of my computer here. And you can see right here, this is what the SSD drive is. Um, the second one is un underneath this video card here. You can't really see it, it's on the motherboard. Um, so the question is, where am I gonna put the new card? So what I'm gonna do is use this PCI slot here uh, to put in a PCI card that lets me put in even more SSD drives. So I've splurged a little and bought a name brand uh, card to do this. This card here uh, actually will handle four SSDs. I can play around with RAIDs later when I want to, but this will give me a good way to access the uh, uh, SSDs that I want to clone to without having to uh, start pulling things out of the computer until I'm ready. I'm going to take the actual SSD and I'm going to insert that under the card. So the card's installed. Here's the SSD drive I'm going to clone to. And that uh, is what I'm going to clone from that's running the operating system now onto that one. And this is the computer booted up. And here you see the two terabyte drive. It's unallocated. That means it's not formatted and partitioned. Now I'm running software called Macrium Reflect, and here you see uh, the Sabrent Rocket, the SSD we want to clone, and then here's the Samsung new one that we're going to clone it to, so I'm going to hit clone this disk. And with a bit of clicking, it says we're going to clone from the Sabrent original uh, boot disk to the new 2 terabyte disk. And I'm going to click finish. Took about 45 minutes to copy the whole thing. Now that it's done, the moment of truth is to swap the drives and hope that it boots up. The computer booted up with the new drive in place. And lo and behold, the drive now has two terabytes instead of one terabyte, which is what I was after in the first place. Worked out pretty well. Now I gotta put the computer together. It wasn't the end of the world, but it was a bit spendy way buying the extra card to do this, but it worked. And now I can get back to the important things, like uh, looting everything possible in Baldur's Gate. 